What's going on, YouTube? Per your request, you said bring back the beer reviews. So, guess what? That's exactly what I'm doing. I want to give a shout out to Ron, who does the Louisiana beer reviews. Look him up. He's been viewing my videos a little bit, but I can never do it as good as he does because I'm not a beer expert. I just love the taste of it. But today, oh boy, we have Angry Orchards. Ortrich Edge Naughty Pear, it's called. Now, if you listen to any one of my videos, I'm a big Angry Orchard fan. I love Angry Orchard. It, I think it's one of the best ciders. I think it is the best cider. I've tried Woodchuck. I've tried that god-awful Reds. I've tried I Strongbow. Strongbow actually wasn't that bad. But I've tried like several of them, and I, this just always seems to do the trick. Um, Angry Orchard, yes, it is produced by the Samuel Adams Brewing Company. I am not a big Samuel Adams beer fan, but I know they make a good product, and they have a lot of uh, seasonal ones that come out, a lot of, um, you know, for Christmas, summer, all that stuff, and I know they make a good product. Well, guess what? This is just as good. Um, Naughty Pear, it says, with apple, pear, and I'm now I'm not going to say this right, cardamom, cardamom, I don't know what that even the hell it is. Aged with white oak. Okay. So, that's what it looks like, of course, in the bottle. Um, it is 12 fluid ounces, of course, naturally gluten-free. It is 6.5. Look at that real closely. I don't know why you're going to be able to see that. It's just getting blurry. But it's 6.5% alcohol by volume. Out of character for Angry Orchard because most Angry Orchards are 5%. Um, and of course here it says produced by the Angry Orchard Cider Company, Sam Adams, Cincinnati, Ohio, um, Walden, New York, and they have a 1-800 number you can call, which, uh, ingredients, hard cider, water, cane sugar, pear juice from, pear juice from, uh, concentrate, concentrate, yeah, malic acid, natural flavor, Cardamom, carbon monoxide, sulfurs for freshness. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? Uh, it has 200 calories. And it says here, explore explore the orchard. Walden, New York. For details, visit angryorchard.com. Please drink responsibly. Well, yeah. No kidding. So, yeah. I have never had this type of angry orchard. I've heard it's good. Um, it's I think it's newer, if I'm not mistaken. I think they have another one of Orchard's Edge, but uh, apple and pear. This is going to be interesting. I've never had a. Uh, we'll see what my cheap bottle opener can do. Not real good bottle opener, I gotta say. But all right. Last smoke coming out there. Got a glass here for you. So. Oh, smells just like any other Angry Orchard. Nothing off-putting about the smell. Here we go. Okay, this is crystal clear. I mean, it's clearer than normal, I gotta say. This almost looks like a bush light, to tell you the truth. That's about to compare it to what color it is. Light straw color. Almost no carbonation whatsoever, no head. Of course, ciders don't have a head because they're ciders. They're not beer. Um, yeah. Like I said, nothing off-putting about the smell. Really not much of a smell, just your typical Angry Orchard smell. If you ever had the crisp apple, that's about what it smells like. There's nothing really off-putting about it. And uh, for the record... I'm not much of a cider drinker, but if I had to choose one, this would be the it. Would be it. Be it. Be it. Whatever. All right, let's go with the taste test. You know, I really don't know how to make it this one, to tell you the truth. It says here, the cider offers a perfect balance between apple and pear. The pear Ford aroma is completed by hints of, hints of, they always do this, condiment, 
which provide unique notes of spice, citrus, and mint. Okay, the cider is aged on white oak. Sorry, the air conditioner had to kick on, naturally. This cider is aged by white oak, adding a subtitle wood, and they got the sticker over this, but I'm gonna say it's an impression, impressor, I don't know. They got half the word all mixed up. You get a little bit of the pear. You know what, honestly, you know what this really reminds me of? Kind of like champagne. Really, it's got that taste of champagne to it. Without the bubbles, if you can imagine that. But I gotta say, this would not be one of my favorite ones. Um, it's not bad by any means. Angry Orchard's never bad. But... 6.5% alcohol, I'll tell you right now, you could, this is a drink you could slam on a hot summer day, no problem. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to compare, I mean, the closest thing I can even compare this to is maybe like champagne. I mean, it's like, literally, I mean, it's like the color of champagne, it's the color of light beer with no head whatsoever. It's just... Don't taste bad. I am not a big pear fan myself. But the 6.5% alcohol would probably make me want to buy this again. I mean, it's simple. 6.5, that's higher than a ice beer. That's uh, almost pushing malt liquor. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, if you like Angry Orchard, which I do, I love it, give it a shot. I'll try the other one. This is not one of my favorite ones. This ain't something I probably want to sip and savor, but this was uh, about the same price as your average Angry Orchard, about $7.99 for a six-pack. Um, I'm just a, a beer drinker. I like hard ciders. Um... But for the price, I mean, guys, you can get a um, a 30-pack of Milwaukee Light right now at Lewis for $11.99. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer, you know. But if you're somebody that don't like beer, this would be good for you. Give it a shot. Um, once again, I'll show it real quick just so you know what it looks like. It's not a bad-tasting cider at all. Of course, like I said, Angry Orchard, it's never bad. But 6.5%, uh, and it's so funny because usually when they're high in alcohol, you get that burn of the alcohol. Like if you drink a Four loco, um, I mean, my God. I mean, Four locos to me are one of the most disgusting things on the planet. But I occasionally will buy them because they are 12%. They accomplish a quick and dirty goal. This accomplishes just good taste. Um, I would never know this was 6.5%. I thought this would be 5%. But, uh, like I said, it has no it has no bitterness of the alcohol or the after effects of it, like that burn. Very good tasting cider. Um, like I said, it, it, it's not as sweet as the original Angry Orchard. It, I like the original better, like the Sinful Apple. Oh, God. that <laughs> That's my weak spot right there. I like it. I mean, it's not my favorite. I wouldn't pick this like over crisp apple or sinful apple or even green apple. Green apple is the worst. When it comes to sourness and sweetness, that to me, that's the worst one. But uh, pick it up, guys. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, I know I gave it a grade before, but a 0 out of 10. I would give this probably a 7. It's pretty good. The original Angry Orchard crisp apple. Crisp Apple, I would give a 10 out of 10 when it comes to ciders. This just to me is a light more lighter body. It's kind of like a little more watery is what I want to say, not as sweet. Some people may like that, but I prefer the original one better. But uh, there you guys have it. 
Angry Orchard's Orchard's Edge. There's another one I gotta find. Naughty Pear. Give it a try. I mean, for the price, with the alcohol by volume, give it a try. Take care, guys.